And earlier in the day, Jeff Olver was back in the Heidelberg goal he'd occupied from 1980 to 87. Facing him in the South Melbourne attack was fellow Socceroo Paul Trimboli, fresh from scoring in Australia's World Cup non-qualifier in Sydney, with the words of praise from all and sundry still ringing in his modest ears. There was a minute's silence for those who fell at Hillsborough, but just 14 seconds after the kickoff, the Hellas fans were in full voice. Back in the Alexander lineup for the first time in a month and a half, fullback Peter Bordignon was looking to give his new keeper an early touch, but let Kim Taliadoris in instead. The 21-year-old was on the score sheet for the fourth match in a row, with a decisive finish that netted him the season's fastest goal. Five minutes on, Bordignon was wishing he was still out injured. Again keen on the back pass, Taliadoris cut off his path to Olver. This time, Mick Peterson was the grateful recipient of the errant ball. He found Frank Arrock's Aussie flagship, Paul Trimboli, in full sail, and Olver had to move quickly to deny him. As usual, Steve Blair was the target from the resultant corner, and with defenders slipping all around him, the big central defender rattled the woodwork. South were in control to an even greater extent than they had been on Easter Monday, and Peterson was following on from his best of field performance for the Socceroos the preceding Sunday. As if exemplifying the fact that he should have been out there right from the start that day, he combined with Steve Tassios and Trimboli to set up perhaps the best team goal of the season. Trimboli delayed his pass to the millisecond, and with the Alexander defence everywhere but in the right place, Taliadoris had two inside 13 minutes. Hellas were running riot, and with the Buffalo Cup already in the trophy cabinet, were displaying the skills to make them the team to beat for the NSL Cup. With confidence oozing from every pore, Peterson tried one from long range. If the Olympic Park surface wasn't so true, Olver may have had trouble with the bouncing ball. His counterpart, Bruce McLaren, was first called upon after 16 minutes. Blair expertly picking out the foot of opposition defender Nicol Salkis with his powerful clearance. South Melbourne failed to tighten the screws over the next quarter of an hour and Heidelberg began to create some chances. A long free kick after 27 minutes beat the Blues defence and Angie Gutsoulis should have gone closer. Some inspiration was needed if the Burgers were to stay in the cup race and on the half hour coach Blyberg made his first substitution. The effervescent Willie Rains took off his tracksuit, ending Bordignon's nightmare return to the first team. Three minutes later, it was again South Melbourne forging forward in the midfield through Peterson. The ball ending up with attacking left back Angie Postacoglu. Olver couldn't take it cleanly and copped a knock in the ensuing goal mouth muddle. His return to the Golden Black wasn't proving to be a bed of roses. But fortunes can change, as dual scorer Kimon Taliadoris found out. Unable to catch the fleet-footed Alan Scott, his less than subtle trip earned him a yellow card from referee Jim Fern, a rare occurrence for a member of the league's fairest club. 2-0 down starting the second half, it was time for Heidelberg to hit back, and it was Reigns working his magic on the left who made the goal. Gutsoulis made no mistake this time, and Alexander were back in it after 48 minutes. By planting the ball into the ground first, the striker gave McLaren no chance in scoring his second goal in his first season at Heidelberg. As if conserving energy for the nine games coming up in the next month, there was little urgency from South Melbourne for 15 minutes, but then came the killer blow. Trimboli did well in the air to set Peter Salakis goalward. Olva could only palm the chip into the path of Taliadoris. A cup hat-trick after 63 minutes, and the Blues were all but through to the semi-finals. To their credit, Heidelberg didn't see it that way. Stuart Stevenson, only recently returned to the Warrior fold, gave them a glimmer of hope after 73 minutes. Having beaten Fernandez, his shot was initially blocked by Blair, but even the acute angle couldn't prevent Stevenson from hammering home the rebound. Phil Stubborn started the move, Peter Trudenik joined in, and Stevenson scored for the second time in three games. A minute and a half later, United's last real chance to equalise came from a volleyed cross from Reigns. McLaren's punch was onto the head of John Stewart. 
but Postacoglu was in the right place at the right time and Heidelberg were out of the competition. Despite having most of the play in the second half, the punch up front had been missing and the final score was South Melbourne's way, 3-2. Hellas were through to the semis for the fourth time in a row with Paul Trimboli playing second fiddle to the hat-trick